Section 1-4, Collecting Sample Data. The idea here is that it is very important for us to be able to collect a good sample set. If we don't collect a good sample set, there is a good chance that our statistical study would be completely useless. So in this section, we will take a look at a few ways, some good, some bad, but a few ways to find our sample. Our main goal is to collect a sample that is simple and random. Let's start with some basics. When we're dealing with a statistical method and we're collecting data, we're either collecting it for observational studies or we're collecting it through an experiment. An observational study is when we observe and measure specific characteristics without trying to change the ideas of the subjects being studied. On the other hand, an experiment is a study where we actually apply a treatment to some of the subjects and then do some comparisons. In our case, we'll be focusing more on observational studies in this class. Here are a couple of examples of observational studies. A research survey, 2,252 adults found that 29% of them go online wirelessly. So, it's a simple study. We looked at the adults, we observed them, and then that was it. By contrast, an example of an experiment would be looking at a an experiment where they conducted 200,000 745 children were given some vaccine while another 201,229 children were given a placebo. So this is an example where you're purposely treating one set of children and not treating another set of children and then you're comparing the results. So in this case, we have an experiment. Let's take a look at some methods of sampling now. We will end our chapter by summarizing these things. Again, our goal is a simple and random sample. A simple and random sample, if you have n subjects, are selected in such a way that every possible sample of size n would have the same chance of being chosen, then we have a simple and random sample. If you have members of the population selected in such a way that individual members have an equal chance, then we have a random sample. How can we collect some of these things? Here's one way to sample we can do some systematic way of going through a list and just selecting maybe every third person that we run into in our list. A convenience sampling are results when we find subjects by convenience. For example, when you happen to go to a grocery store and then you just ask a bunch of people there. A stratified sampling would be taking a look at a particular population and finding a certain set of people within that population. Cluster sampling takes a look at 
dividing a population into clusters and then randomly selecting some of those clusters to represent the whole population. Multi-stage sampling is when we collect the data and we use some sort of combination of random or systematic convenience or one of those other sampling methods that we discussed. So here is our summary of sampling. Okay, this is the end of chapter one and we will move on to chapter two.